In this video right here, someone down in the comments said, great video, I did not know it was so simple. Many thanks for your explanation. My question is, can I color more than one yellow car and how? And my answer, absolutely you can. And I'm about to show you how. Now, over here in Final Cut Pro, I have another video like this. It is just cars going by, and we're gonna use this video as the example. So I'm just gonna throw this down into my primary storyline like that, and I'm gonna use this clip to show you how to color multiple cars. Now, the process is gonna be exactly the same as it was in the other video. We're just gonna drag that colorize effect over top of one of the cars, and we're going to let it use the magnetic mass to kind of choose the car. I'm just gonna hold down the Option key, and I'm just gonna kind of click outside of the car so that we make sure we have just that car selected like that and then i'm going to actually use the plus dropper and i'm going to find a different car so let's say i want to do this car right here i want this one to be yellow as well so i'm going to select that one and now it might kind of go a little bit crazy because it's kind of looking around but we're just going to use the option key and we'll click around this a little bit just do a couple of them just to kind of make sure that it knows we only want to select this car and this car. And so now you've got multiple cars selected, but it's still all gonna be that same single magnetic mask. And so all we have to do now is analyze this and then we can adjust the color. So let's do that. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna click analyze and then we'll just let this actually go through the process of analyzing and then I'll show you how we colorize both of them. And now we're gonna do the magnetic mask analysis shuffle. We're gonna do the dance. Everybody do it with me now. You got this. All right, come on. Okay, and now it's analyzed. All we have to do is go up here and we're gonna choose a color and we're just gonna pick the yellow like we had in the other video and we'll make the actual shadows kind of fall into the yellow as well or the lights and the darks, we'll make those fall into yellow. And then all we have to do is click up here on colorize and now we have two cars that are yellow. We can adjust everything. We can like set the intensity really high and make those cars yellow. We can do whatever adjustments we want here. And it's literally that easy. You can choose a whole bunch of different objects on the screen and make them all follow that magnetic mask. And if that was the only thing I was gonna show you, this would be an insanely short video. But I'm gonna show you one more thing. Because while we have some yellow cars on here, we could also add some other different color cars. And all we have to do is now create another magnetic mask because you can create as many magnetic masks on this clip as you want. So I'm gonna actually do the exact same thing. I'm gonna grab that colorize effect and I'm gonna put it over here on this car right here. And I'm gonna try to just kind of clean this up a little bit around it. And I'm gonna make sure that I have my negative one chosen because I want to get just the car itself. So I'm just gonna kind of throw a couple of negatives around it or minuses to kind of take away the mask and make sure that it's only masking the thing that I want. So that's pretty good. I think that's gonna be good for that one. And I'm just gonna grab my plus again and I think I'll do one more car. Maybe I'll do this one right here. And that's actually pretty good. I don't have to add anything else to that but I think I'm gonna add a couple of just kind of negative points around it as a way to tell the magnetic mask that I don't want anything that's around this car. So I'm just kind of doing that preemptively and in hopes that as it goes through and it analyzes it, maybe it won't accidentally kind of glitch out. I don't actually know if that works, but I'd rather just do that and be wrong than find out in the end that I have to go fix the mask. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then again, all we gotta do is analyze this. It's the analysis shuffle. One of these days I'm gonna do like an everyday carry what's in your pocket kind of Peter McKinnon type of thing, but I do already have my knife. My knife is awesome. I do love the Benchmade knives, but every filmmaker should have a knife. Way back, like a thousand years ago, when I was in college, my first attempt at college, I wanted to be a filmmaker, so I took some film classes, and the professor told me that every filmmaker should always have at least two things in their pocket. They should always have a black Sharpie to be able to write on things as you need to, and they should also have a knife. You should always have those two things. Any filmmaker should have them at all times. Okay, and now that that one's analyzed, we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna go over here, we're gonna choose different colors. So I think I'm gonna go with purple here because yellow and purple, kind of opposite ends of the color wheels, so they're complementary colors. So let's use purple in this. And then I'm gonna go up here to the shadows and we'll kind of bring that down to purple as well. And then go out here and pick that. And you can see now that we have our purple cars and our yellow cars and they're masked well and everything's good. 
and it's really that easy. You can do a bunch of different magnetic masks in different contexts if you want. You can always kind of break things apart and do layers and all sorts of stuff. So there's a lot of really cool stuff that you're gonna be able to do with magnetic mask. This might be like video 7,451 of magnetic mask videos for me, but I really do love the feature. And I love it when you ask questions like this because it gives me things to think about and it gives me like ideas to create videos about. So anytime you have a question about something, please ask it in the comments down below because you never know if I'm gonna create a video about it and call out your comment and say hey thanks for the question here's the answer So I hope that you enjoyed this quick little video. Check out my website, www.emberton.com if you wanna get the free adjustment layer or buy the Glowline plugin. Also, I'm gonna create courses over time and a lot of other different plugins and things like that. So bookmark that website because you're probably gonna go back to it eventually. Thanks so much for the comment. Thanks so much for watching the videos. And if you thought that this video was cool, you should definitely check out that one.